Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Real Sports Updates here. Uh, back again with another video. Um, today I wanted to cover Tim Tebow um, in his preseason debut with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, I'll just be honest here. And, and, and first, let me let me lay down a little disclaimer. This is not a personal uh, jab at Tim Tebow is not a personal shot at who he is as a person, who he is as a man, a husband. Um, you know, this is not a personal shot at him. Um, this is strictly football related. Um, and we can see without a shadow of a doubt that this, this guy does not belong on the football field um, as, as a tight end. He, he, he just doesn't cut it. Um, there were two plays that went viral. Um, there was one play that happened, and then the 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 following play after that. Um, there were there were two really really bad efforts um, of him trying to block. Um, you know, obviously he's he's they brought him in to be a tight end. Um, he's never caught a pass in his NFL career uh, prior to that. You know, he was a quarterback, but uh, you know, Urban Meyer brought him in to to you know try him out as as a tight end. Um, and you know, in, in in full honesty and full disclosure, he looks the part. Um, he, he's in really good shape. Uh, he's uh, 6'3", 255 pounds. I mean, that that's pretty, pretty, uh, um, pretty typical uh, 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 measurements for a tight end. Um, he's he's in good shape. You know, he's 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 real. He's really ripped. You know, he's 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 uh, he's he's a bigger guy. You know, he looks really strong. But um, it's clear that he's never. He's never played tight end before, um, and it looks like it. Um, it looks very, very bad. Um, he, 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 he's, he's not, he's not accustomed to the the contact. He's not accustomed to the the physicality that that it takes to to uh, play tight end. Um, you know, it it was just it it wasn't his best, or maybe it was his best effort. But I mean, you know, if you you, you can't just you know come from TV or or minor league baseball, put on the helmet, um, you know, and call yourself a tight end. Like that takes years and years of, of work. It takes years and years of actually learning the position, learning what to do. Um, and honestly, tight end is tight end is one of the hardest positions to play in football um, at any level, uh, just because, you know, these guys that the, 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 we've seen the position um, evolve. You know, the 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 tight end is primarily a pass catcher now. You know, we we we've seen that. Um, you know, I think, I think Shannon Sharp was, was one of the, one of the guys to, to really break that mold of a tight end, just being a smaller, a smaller extra lineman who, you know, every now and then can go out and run a route. Shannon Sharp was really like the first modern tight end. You know, he, he was a guy who, you know, he, he ran a lot of routes, he caught a lot of passes and obviously he's a hall of famer, but you know, the position has evolved, but it, it's still a very, very tough position to play. Um, to go out there and you know try to catch passes primarily in the middle of the field, you know where where, where tight ends normally work, and then having blocking assignments on top of that, you know you you can there's you know depending on what offense is being ran, you know you can be matched up one on one with the defensive end, you know or you you might have to come down on the line and double team a, a defensive tackle. There's just various um, various assignments that you can have as a tight end, so the the physicality really really has to be there you know no matter how many passes you catch or whatever you know because at any point you can be matched up with a defensive end and um you know these these guys are freak athletes the 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 defensive athletes the guys on the defensive line you know if if they're not you know the the big defensive tackles and they're they're freak athletes on the outside guys who have a bunch of speed a bunch of power they're agile um it's a very it's it's a very very tough ask for any tight end to, to block any, you know, defensive lineman. Um, but it's, it's clear that Tim Tebow doesn't have it. Um, and like I said, it's no personal shot at him, but I mean, honestly guys, it, it's nepotism at its finest. You know, we all know that urban Meyer was his college coach at Florida. Um, you know, so it's about who, you know, you know, to some degree. So he, you know, just, just, you know, he, he, he doesn't really have what it takes to play that position. Um, Urban Meyer, you know, gave him the opportunity to come in, come into camp, but, uh, you know, it, I don't know, man, I don't know, I, I just don't think that he has it, um, 
you know, cuts happen tomorrow. The first round of cuts happen tomorrow. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Tim Tebow was cut. Um, just based on the film that's out there on him right now, it, it it's just not good. It's not good. Um, and to be quite honest with you, he's if Tim Tebow does make the team, he's one injury away from being put into a game and having to face a Khalil Mack one on one, having to face a Joey Bosa one on one, having to face a, a Von Miller, a Bradley Chubb, any of the the any of the you know the, the the high level pass rushers in this league, he's one injury away from going in there and, and potentially being matched up with them, you know, um, and he could end up getting Trevor Lawrence hurt, you know. Th- this guy's not, you know, come. It, it's a matter of of who you want on the field out there protecting you. Like I said, Tim Tebow, he seems like a great guy, um, you know. He, he does a lot in the community, you know. His religion is means a lot to him, but as far as football and uh, you know playing a position that he's never played before. Um, it's just not it. He he just doesn't have it. Um, and it's no no fault against him. You know, there's no, I don't I don't know anybody who can come off their couch and start playing tight end in the NFL. It's not a indictment on him. Um, this is something that's just almost virtually impossible. You know, um, for for a guy to to just show up out of nowhere and succeed playing in the NFL, um, and playing a position that he hasn't played. Uh, you know, I, it, it's rare. I don't think anybody is capable of that. So. Um, no slight against him, but uh, this experiment needs to end. Um, the Jaguars need to move on. The focus needs to be on Trevor Lawrence going forward, developing him as a quarterback. You know, he's, he was the first pick. Um, and he, he's a guy that they trust the franchise with. You know, they gave him the keys to the franchise. He's going to be that day, the, the, the week one starter. So let's focus on him. Um, you know, let's get him ready to play. And let's, let's, let's cut our losses with this T-ball thing um, and, and move on. But... Yeah, you know, I just had to come out and, you know, give my thoughts about that. You know, it, it was a very interesting weekend, you know, seeing uh, Tim Tebow's name all on social media, you know, for the past, you know, I don't know, what, 30, 36 hours or whatever. So, um, yeah, so don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have more content coming out. And uh, thank you guys for listening.